Let's practice a formula that includes Newtons using the guess method. These can be pretty tough, so if this is difficult for you, don't worry, just come and see us and we can help you out. The question is, a bowling ball with a mass of 5.5 kilograms is pushed with a force of 10 Newtons. What is the bowling ball's acceleration? What I'd like you to do right now is to pause the video and work this problem on your own. And then when you have the problem finished, unpause the video to check your work and see if you got it correct. Okay, to solve this problem, like every other problem we do, we're going to use the guess method. So we're going to begin by writing down the given that we have. In this case, we have 5.5 kilograms. We know kilograms is a measurement of mass. So 5.5 kilograms. We also know that there's a force of 10 newtons. So force is equal to 10 newtons. What is the bowling ball's acceleration? So our unknown, the u in the guess method, acceleration, we're trying to find out. Okay, g, u, e. Now we need to figure out what equation is the proper equation to get us to the answer. We have f, m, and a, so this should look familiar to us, and we can pick out f equals m, a. That's the proper equation. Now we're going to substitute the information that we have into our equation. Substitution. I always like to rewrite the formula. F equals m, a. Our force is 10 newtons. Our mass is 5.5 kilograms. And we don't know what our acceleration is. Now the key to this problem is remembering that a newton is also equal to 10 kilogram meters per second squared. Kilogram meters per second squared. And that's equal to 5.5 kilograms. Okay, so how do we get 5.5 kilograms alone on this side? We know we need to divide by 5.5 kilograms to get acceleration alone. Now, over here, to do the same, we would put 5.5 kilograms on the bottom. If we do that, we're able to cross out 5.5, 5.5. We're able to cross out kilograms and kilograms. Over here, we're able to cross out kilograms and kilograms. So if we write what we're left with, okay, we know that we're left with acceleration. We'll write this side first because all we have left here is acceleration. On the top, we have 10 meters. And all of that is over 5.5. And the units we have left on the bottom are second squared. So our acceleration, if we bring in a calculator and make life easy for ourselves, 10 divided by 5.5 equals 1.8. We're going to round it to the nearest tenth. So instead of 1.8, 181 would be 1 1.8. That one tells us to stay the same. So it's 1.8. Now what is our units going to be? Let's take a look and see what units we have left. We have meters on top and seconds squared on the bottom. So that's going to be our units. That's what we have left. Meters per second squared. And if you remember from any other problems that you've done, acceleration is often given to us in meters per second squared. So we know that we did that correctly.